Sensing signs of an incoming star. Sam, Joyce, I want you to be for that star. Knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And he never tried to stop it. At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way for Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What is this? What the 
hell? What is this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my Me grant, grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do this. this. This works. Will. It's gone. Come with me. We can survive this. You're the only other one who's seen what I've seen. No, I don't. Give me the advice. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There was something wrong with Paul. All right. Cronon That's syndrome. It. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. 
It didn't make anything you'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did.
<sighs> Need to get the hell out of here. Close, Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found.
I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Trying to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. <clears throat> it's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but that's a long shot. I think I found a way in. Hey, there we go. Whoa. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? <laughs> Stutters aren't going away. I saw him there. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? He's gone. $12,000 moving bill. Shit. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Rafford. About to brighten your day with some good news. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed. At me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? 
said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Wait. Is that? Yeah, I think so. second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. Can't activate the core till it's reset. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. I can't insert the date yet. This is gonna work. Here goes nothing. Final step. Okay. I need to set we up activate the, the corridor first. next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. Okay, corridor, then the date. That was the order at the university. Find anything back there? No, nothing I can make sense of.
These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key? Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and you left it That's my brother in a nutshell. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 